My number one focus is targeting gangs. And there's a reason for that. They are committing conservatively 75 to 80 percent of all of the violent crime that we are seeing within our community. But be aware that you have the right to remain silent and not incriminate yourself while you are there and anywhere else anything that you say can be used against you. They pull up like right here. They would just soon it like, you know, sideways behind the car. You better watch the way you breathe around me for that breath be your last boy. Smith and Wesson 45 put a hole in his heart, better not play with me. Killers stay with me. I shot at his mommy. Now he no longer mentioned me. What the hell is going on with YSL? Why did y'all let Young Thug record that song? And why did y'all let him release it? Social media is a wonderful tool for prosecutors in every indictment we bring nowadays. What's up fam? This your boy Cut To The Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you niggas today. New details have emerged into the YSL Rico case after a seventh co-defendant accepted a plea deal and agreed to testify against Young Thug. This one is different. This dude took snitching and talent telling to a whole different level. See, with Gunner, he was very vague with his snitching. He just answered yes or no, just said YSL was a gang. But this dude right here, Antonio Sledge, he took snitching to a whole different level. He gave locations. He gave dates. He gave names. He gave specific details to get Young Thug put away for life. And it's so weird for Young Thug, that was the nail in his coffin. Now, I'm not as optimistic as y'all. Y'all keep saying, let's wait for trial. Let's see if Young Thug can beat it. He ain't beating this. And this proves it. Once you see this dude in court, you're going to have the same mindset as me. Oh, yeah, Young Thug, you finished. He too good with the snitching. He too cold. Let's play this video. Let's go. Number seven, defendant was told by another YSL associate that immediately after the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., YSL associates met at the McDonald's on Cleveland Avenue in Atlanta, Georgia, to discuss the murder. Number eight, defendant personally knows that one or more YSL associates committed the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr. on behalf. Y'all hear that? Antonio Sledge is taking his plea deal and he's admitting that YSL associates told him about the murder. He said after they did it, they met at McDonald's and discussed it. He was there, and then they met at Young Thug House. Listen closely. Half of YSL. Number nine, on Jan January the 10th, 2015, after the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., defendant and other YSL associates gathered at the home of Jeffrey Williams, AKA Young Thug, who gave defendant and other YSL associates cash money to lay low. Number 10, defendant has personal knowledge that on January 10, 2015, after the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., YSL Associates traveled to Miami, Florida with co-defendant and YSL founder Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young. You see why I say Young Thug is in trouble? This dude is too cold. He giving specific dates. He naming names. He talking about we flew to Miami. He is too Pacific. He's doing the state justice, and that is why Young Thug is not going to beat this case. You got somebody in YSL, not just saying y'all a gang, but he's also saying you're soliciting murder. He know who killed Nut. He know who killed YFN Lucci manager. He's saying all that, and they have the evidence. This is the key witness, and that's why he finna get this life sentence. Let's pay attention. Thug. Number 11. Defendant did not murder Donovan Thomas Jr. and was not a party to the crime. You see that? Spoken like a true snitch. Tell it on everybody. He did this, he did that. Young Thug did that, he paid us this. Just at the end to say, I had nothing to do with anything. I was just there. <laughs> you can't knock them though, because look at it like this. Young Thug, that's who they want. It seemed like with this case, all you have to do is implicate Young Thug in something and just get a plea deal. That give you probation. And it seems like it jeopardizes and compromises the whole case. You mean to tell me all you have to do is say Young Thug did this, Young Thug did that, and you get 15 years probation for murder. What world are we living in? Now I get Young Thug is supposed to be the gang leader. I get Young Thug is supposed to be the ring leader. He's supposed to be ordering these hits. But these are still grown ass men. Can't no other man make you do something you don't want to do. If you don't want to do something Young Thug tell you to do, 
walk away. It's that simple. So I think these guys got to be held accountable. And I don't think probation for soliciting murder is being held accountable. That's a slap on the wrist. He got off light because the state wants Young Thug. And that's what all these defendants know. I can do anything. I can admit to anything. As long as I say Young Thug was there. As long as I say Young Thug was in on it. I'm going to get probation. And I just don't like that. And I'm mad at Antonio Sledge. Y'all see the way this dude look? He way too damn big to be doing all that talent telling. He is too big to be snitching. Now, I'm not saying jail is meant for anybody, but looking at him, he fits the physical description of a man that can withstand the harsh conditions of jail. Now, if I do the snitching, if I fall, y'all be like, yeah, Cut ain't really built like that. I can see Cut to the Chase snitching, but this dude, he got the physical description of a prisoner. Wide neck, about the size of my thigh, broad shoulders. So for him to flip like that, I was surprised. He all in court, yes ma'am, voice got light. That's the same type of dude that you will see growling at niggas on the street, but he get in front of that judge, yes ma'am, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Watch this video. Mr. Sledge, has your attorney advised you of the minimum and maximum sentence for each charge that you are pleading guilty to yes, today? Ma yes, ma'am. Do you understand that the minimum sentence for conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act is five years and the maximum is 20 years in prison? Yes, ma'am. See, that's the type of stuff I don't like. Street dudes, when they on the street, you can't bump into them, you can't step on their shoe, you can't knock a drink out their hand. That might just cost you your life. But when they get in trouble, when they stand in front of the judge, hands are folded, they looking, they sitting upright, hand, hand, head up high. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All of a sudden they start sounding like Mike Tyson. Voice get real light. I don't like that at all. I got a problem with street dudes. If you're gonna be street, if you're going to be in the real world talking about F12, I expect you to go to court and have that same energy. But a lot of y'all be code switching. Just being real. But let's continue. You understand that the sentence for violation of count 30 of this indictment, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, as in OCGA 1611-133, is 15 years in prison. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that this is a negotiated plea of guilty. Yes, ma'am. Y'all see her? She said, you understand that this is a negotiated plea of guilty. That means you got certain conditions you got to abide by. We want to see you at trial for Young Thug. You're going to tell us everything you know. You're going to get on that stand and you're going to put Young Thug away for life and we're going to give you 15 years probation. Do you understand that, Mr. Sledge? And you hear him happily. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Like with Gunner, he kind of had shame in his voice. He didn't really want to be in court. He knew what he was doing was wrong. But I think this dude think he's doing a good deed. Better young thug than me? That's the way he looking at it. He don't feel no remorse. He ain't second guessing. His mind is made up. If I'ma tell, I'ma be the best damn snitch in the world. And that's the mindset you see on camera. But let's continue. It means that the state will recommend to the court the following sentence yes ma'am as to count one look she ain't said nothing she said the court will recommend the following sentence he's so used to saying yes ma'am and kissing ass he said yes ma'am when she wasn't even talking to him see what i'm talking about street dudes get the jail they get the court and their whole attitude change that's why i got a problem with them if you got enough sense how to act in court, then you should have enough sense on how to act in the street, how not to be waving firearms around, how not to be inflicting damage on people. Y'all got sense, got see it every time y'all go to court. Y'all know right from wrong. Y'all know how to comprehend. So act like that in the real world. Can you please do that? Antonio Sledge, when you get these little years of probation, I don't expect you to be back in jail because I seen you got some goddamn sense. But let's continue. 15 years to serve on probation subject to the special conditions contained in the plea agreement that I have in my hand that I will show you in just a moment. Damn shame. Got in trouble. They had the evidence against him and all because he implicated Young Thug. All because he agreed to testify against Young Thug, they gave him 15 years probation. Now I got a question for everybody in the audience. Do you think he gonna be back in jail? 
Do you think he's going to violate the probation? I'm willing to bet $10,000 of my own money. He going to be back in jail because I'm sure going to keep up with him. You did all this snitching. You did all this telling. I want to see how your life is going to turn out. High profile case. Put away a great rapper because I'm telling you guys, Young Thug is finished. He's not beating this. This put the nail in the coffin. Antonio Sledge is a damn good witness. He got insight knowledge. And he might have been an informant the whole time. That's what I'm thinking. I'm kind of thinking Antonio Sledge was the informant. And he's the reason why they got this whole goddamn Rico in the first place. That's just my suspicion. Now, it's interesting. Antonio Sledge took a plea deal. Got 15 years probation. He's going to testify against Young Thug. But them two other dudes that was in court today, they rejected the plea deal. They was looking at 15 years probation. They rejected the plea deal. Now they facing 50 years in prison. Damn. So I got a question. Is that a smart move? If you're looking at 15 years probation and you can get out of jail today, would you take the plea deal? Or would you say, let's go to trial. I'm going to face them 50 years. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm telling I'm accepting my plea deal. I think about all the other stuff later, but my main priority is to get out. And that should have been their main priority. Because these two dudes think they're going to get some type of cred. Oh, y'all real dudes. Y'all real niggas. We don't forget about y'all. Y'all not famous. I already done forgot y'all name. If I knew y'all name, I'd say it. That's how stupid that decision was. You got me reporting on it. And I don't even know y'all name. Didn't bother to look it up. Didn't bother to care because you guys are not famous. So you get found guilty and you looking at 50 years. I don't want to see you guys passing out. I don't want to see you guys fainting. I don't want to see you guys grabbing the guard legs. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. You should have took the plea deal, but you wanted to be a real nigga. So you rejected it. And we're going to see how this play out. Because the judge was looking like, damn, y'all rejected it? Are you guys sure? Now, you know, if you take it to trial, we're going to give y'all the max sentence of 50 years. The moment the judge said that, I would have had a change of heart right then and there. Oh, you know what, judge? I'm going to take the plea. That's all. <laughs> That's what I would have did. So they don't get no brown points. They get stupid points from me. But anyway, those are my thoughts on this whole situation. I want to know how you guys feel about it. Do you think Young Thug will get life in prison? Or do you still feel optimistic that Young Thug is going to beat this case, even though the seventh co-defendant has agreed to a plea deal and will testify against Young Thug? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Share this video. I love you guys. Peace.